All right, we're going to start a new section uh, where we're going to talk about controlling programs and controlling the flow of a, of a program. And the first thing that I would like to talk about before we actually get into modifying how programs work is I would like to talk about what I would like to refer to as expressions. And the idea is that we have, we've seen in previous videos how to use arithmetic operators to do um, operations with values, with numbers that yield other numbers, right? So you can add two numbers, you can divide them, etc, etc. However, in computer programming, there are many other types of operators, there are many other types of uh, um, operations that you can perform with data, that instead of giving you uh, num numerical values as a result, what they give you is Boolean values as a result. And that's what I'm going to refer to as an expression. An expression is going to be anything that evaluates to either true or false. And the idea is that there are many operators in C sharp and in any other programming language that I can think of um, that when that you can use to compare things and then get a result of true or false depending on that comparison. And that I'm describing this now because it turns out that this idea of comparing things and getting true or false values is the only way, is the only real profound way that we have in computer programs to make decisions. Um, at the end of the day, everything is numerical representations and any way of this of making a decision about something, whether it to do something or not, or how many times, uh, boils down to figuring out if a certain condition meets and if that condition meets or not, so if that condition is true or false, then execute a piece of code or not. And we're going to see a lot of ways of how that manifests when writing computer programs. So for example, um, most of the operators that we will use here will be comparison operators. So we can compare two numbers, see if one is greater than the other, smaller than the other, of if they're equal. And then we can use that comparison as a way to make decisions. So if you're interested in reading more about this, you can go to the operators and expressions section on the C sharp reference and take a look, for example, at comparison operators or equality operators and even Boolean logic operators that we will see further down in this series. Okay. And let me know, let me show you how that works. Let's say I have two values here. They have one, two integers. They could be two doubles, but I'm just going to choose integers uh, with a value of 10 and five. Okay. What I can do here is I can write an expression for example, to the console, I can just write whether if the value of a is greater than the value of b. Okay, and as I do that, I can execute this code. And then what I will get up, oh, sorry, I forgot to add uh, the, uh, the read key clause so that we can stop the program. And if I run this, what I get printed in the console is the message of true. You see here, I get this is true because a and b, a is greater than b. I can actually say, um, I can actually write a message, is a greater than b? Um, and then here, I can just pass. And actually, let me let me do this even better. It's the value of a greater than the value of b. Remember, I'm using string interpolation to create this message here. Uh, we've seen this in previous videos. So I'm going to, and then what I get here is, is 10 greater than five? It is true, all right? Similarly, I could write, for example, I could copy paste this. I could copy paste this and say, is A smaller than B? And then I can pass here, A less than B, okay? And then I can run this and I can see that it, this is false. And another thing that I can do is I can compare whether if they are equal. All right. So for example, I can say, is a equal to b? And then what I do here is that I do two equal signs to compare if they are together. Remember, one single equal sign is not a comparison, is an assignment, is taking this value and saving it inside of the variable a two equal symbols. That's how that's what you use to compare two things together. And then if I run this, 
then you can see that I have another message here. Is 10 equal to 5? It is not true. And then if I change this value, so for example, now this is 15, we're going to see that things are going to change. 10 is now smaller than 15. Or if I do 10, both values are 10, then I will get that 10 is equal to 10, true. And then everything else is false. OK, let me take a second to write down a few of the other expressions that I the comparisons that we can see. And then we can take a look at that. So here we go. Um, I created a, 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 a set of other examples. So we have the greater than symbol, we have the greater or equal symbol, we have the smaller symbol, we have the smaller or equal symbol, we have the equal symbol, and we have the different symbol or the not equal symbol. That one is an exclamation mark and a and a, an equality like a like an equal symbol. And then if I run this, you can see that I get this plot on the screen. Is 10 greater than 10 false? Is greater or equal to 10? That is true. Smaller is false. Is smaller or equal? That is also true. Are they equal? Yes. Are they not equal? No. All right. So these are all the comparison operators that are available in C sharp and in most other programming languages that I can I can think of really. Um, and they will be extremely, extremely useful for us to make comparisons and to compare things together. Now, I want to make sure that we understand that this is an expression that evaluates to a Boolean value. So the result of doing a greater b, the result of that calculation is a Boolean value, which means that in case we were going to make decisions, in case we were going to make a lot of decisions based on whether if a is greater than b, then instead of perhaps doing it on the fly in our program all the time, um, which may is also is a very cheap operation to do anyway, but um, in case we wanted to just uh, keep it as a constant value in memory, something that we could do is we could actually just create a variable and then store the result of that in, in there. So for example, if I create a variable call of the type Boolean, and I call it is greater, and then I store the result of comparing a greater than b, then I will be able to use that value anywhere in the future, because this will be either true or false, right? And then this is going to give me the exact same result that I had before. Now, I have made this comparison, the value of this comparison, a permanent value in my program that I might be able to reuse here and there. Okay, so a, this is just like mathematical operations, really more, it's just like arithmetic operations, but instead of being in the world of numbers, they are in the world of Boolean logic. Okay, and the, uh, they're operations that result in truth or false. And they are the foundations of how do we make decisions in computer programming. Okay, we're going to see tons and tons of examples of applications of these comparisons across this series. So stay tuned for that. It's going to be awesome.